Right, brew day. Um, it's a lovely spring day outside. Well, it's not spring yet. It's only 3rd of February. Nice and fresh. Dogs have walked. They're going to go sleep. So we're going to get a, a brew on. And it is going to be a hobgoblin. A hobgoblin clone. Um, so we'll get everything set up and I'll come back and show you the grains. And then we'll do a step by step how I'm going to do it. See you in a bit. Right, we're back guys. As you can see, it's getting a bit cloudy, but it ain't going to rain, I'm sure. So we'll carry on with the brew day outside and I'll show you the grains because we're about to dough in. So you turn around. Right. So, these are my grains. So what I've got in here is four kilograms of Marisotta. Um, I have got 150 grams of caramel malt or crystal malt and 100 grams of carapils. And the brown malt you can see here, that's 75 grams of chocolate malt. Pops is going to be Fuggles, 45 grams, and Styrian Goldens, another 45 grams. And that good old Nottingham yeast. So we'll get it doed in. Right, as you can see, that's my last lot. Getting doed in now. Right. Um, yeah, that's all doed in. Uh, I'll give it a good stir and let it sit now for a full hour. Um, as you can see, just put an insulation jacket on there. Just a cheap yoga mat. And about halfway through, we'll connect the pump up and recirculate it to extract more flavour and get a better colour. Right, that's the pump connected up, guys. As you can see, coming out of the spark there. So little pump kicking it back round, round the kettle, and going back into the grain basket. And then the other end is going down the side of the grain basket so it doesn't dry out, the pump doesn't run dry. So we'll keep this running for about 25 minutes and then we'll be ready for the sparge. Yeah, so what I forgot to tell you guys as well, um, I've had to keep the induction hob on at 500 watts because because I've got the lid ajar a bit, it's going to lose a bit of heat and we need to keep it at 66 degrees round about there for, you know, the goodness to extract out the grains. So yeah, about another 10 minutes so Play a ball with these pair for a bit, and then we'll come back for a sponge. Right, there we are. As you can see, pull the grain basket out now, sat on its rack, and all the water is draining through now back into the kettle. Right, so that's that done now then. Um, put the grain basket in there, it's all recirculating back around, 80 degree water, extract the last bit of flavours and colour. And then I'll transfer that into the, <laughs> through the pump. We should have about eight gallons. Um, we'll bring that to the boil. And we'll actually, I've actually put that on already. So we'll bring it to the boil and put the hops in. And that's homebrew. Black IPA, it's spanking. And just show you how fast the pump is. It's um, kicking out, look. You can see the colour changing now from normal water, extracting the last bit of goodness that's left in them grains. Right, there you go. Drained all them grains off, 15 minutes. Recirculated them nicely. All the sugar should be extracted now. And this now is just going to go in my composter. Right, yeah, we've got that eight gallon and we're out of boil now. Put the ox spider in. So, just one lot. That's two lots. So, you have 15 grams of Styrian Goldens and 15 grams of Fuggles. At 30 minutes, I'm going to do the same again 15 of Styrian Goldens and 15 of Fuggles. Um, and then at 15 minutes I'll bang a Worflock tablet in and that's when I'll come back. And now I'm going to enjoy a pint from my fellow home brewer. This is a Bitterly Cross from my good friend Chris. 
vehicle all that, it's looking grey. Um, got a Bramling Cross hops in, but so, so fruity. It's that berry Bramling Cross hops, isn't it? Right, see you in 45 minutes. All right, 15 minutes to go. Work lock tablet, should produce a little fizz. Yeah, there you go. So that's just going to clear it through now. It's not be as murky. So that's it, guys. Um, in 15 minutes, we'll be done switching the ball off. And two more hop additions are going to go in, which will be the 15 grams of stirring goldens and the 15 grams of fuggles. And you let that sit for an hour, basically, with the lid on um, to steep. And that's it. Brew day's done. We'll put it in the cube to let it cool down overnight. Alright, we're back, guys. Brew day is all done. Um, sorry, I don't want to get involved. <laughs> um, yeah, what it is, I put um, the hot water, it's in my cube now, chilling down. I still know I've not got water chilly out, but this does the job for me. And it breaks, breaks the brew out because tomorrow I'll put it in my fermenter and pitch with that Nottingham yeast. So I've drawn a sample off, cool that down, as you call it at the moment, and then take on a dark, deep, richer colour after fermentation. But Still looking nice. So we want to be going for around about 158. Um, and that's gonna crack a beer open as well. Drunken goblin. Boom. That is bang on 1060. So just two more points really, so can't be bad, might be a bit stronger. Got to go for that. Pop this one open. A can of the smoke coming off there. And like I say, I won't get no footage of me bottling this hobgoblin up. Or well, my, I don't know yet. I'll see what we're looking like for timing wise because I want to do a taster at the end of the video, you see. Now that's seriously got better over time. Look at the colour on that. You could see the clarity of that bugger, eh? The carbonation as well. Sticking to the side. Mosaic pale ale. That's blinding though. 6.6%. Like I say, had the mosaic hops in and the summit hops to bitter him. And it was wrapped on top of the Warrior Yeast Cake IPA, what I did. So, used the yeast twice there, and it's still come out, spanking 6.6. .6. But for the clarity on that, top draw, guys. So, that's it. Brew day gone. And I'm looking forward to getting this in bottles. And I'll probably send a couple out via BML as well for you guys to sample. Colours are looking nice, isn't it, at the moment? Still nice and clear. You can see the hydrometer through it. Alright, we'll get the yeast. We'll put that into fermenter tomorrow and pitch the yeast. Right, guys, we're back. And now is the end of February. So my grinch this last video is we'll wrap it up now. Um, I was hoping to leave it a bit more for March time, but... I got busy a month ahead, so I don't know if I'll have to get a video uploaded, let alone taste the beer. So, uh, yeah, so we'll sample it now anyway. I had one last night, um, just to get ahead of the tasting notes, you know, the feel of it, so I can describe it to you better now. Um, yeah, we left it about 10 days in the fermenter, and took the final grams to read in, and we came up at 5.3% in the end. So which is, you know, it is higher than a hob hobgoblin currently as it stands, but hobgoblin back in the day used to be, you know, like 5.3%, um, and it was 5.4, something like that, here, so it's 4.5%, but 5.3%, it can't be all bad, can it? So, we're in the limit, I guess, and 
did have a head job in the last one. I broke it for the first time. It was in the bloody sink, hot water, just cracked it, and it's all wounded, basically. <laughs> anyway, we're going forward. We've been at room temperature for around about 40 minutes. Feels well. Good pot there, you can see the good carbonation streaming up already on the bottom. So again, this is a slight issue I've got with it. I think we have goblin flange, flange, what you call on it. We'll leave it at that. Now it ain't looking too bad, is that? At all. Streaming closer. You can see, it's the only issue I've got, it's not that deep ruby colour I'm looking for. Now, maybe I should have upped the chocolate malt a little bit, or even added a pinch of black malt. But, you know, see the orange tinge to it as well. Yeah, like a dark that toffee, burnt toffee colour. Full slight. It's floral on the nose. It's like a nice earthy smell as well. Yeah, anyway, I'm calling it there. Got a little finger head there, just facing on the left a bit, but. Um, I'm sure we'll bring that back up in a minute. It is good. It does remind me of an EFT. There's almost a nuttiness to it. Um, with a nice spice to finish as well. I'm taking the spiciness coming from the Syrian Goldens that we've added. I'm not really playing much around Syrian Golden pots, but it's doing all right, isn't it? It's got a great mouthfeel to it. I'm not duping. Um, the overall all out bitterness is, yeah, fantastic, really. Um, I'm pleased with it. Obviously, just apart from the, just the colours, not quite there for me, but it's something I'm sure we've got to work on again for next time. Um, so yeah, that's a grain to glass video done. Um, I've got about four of these bottled up in different bottles, crown caps. So, oh, yeah, carbonations there. Um, so I'm going to send them out to some folk. Some folk in the brew community and see what they say. They're more than welcome to do me a video as well. Um, but like I say, as a great glass video, had a smooth brew day, and I've got this at the end of it a 5.3% ale. So that's 34 pints out of it in total. These bottles are about something like 450, aren't these folks? So, not quite a pint. But to carbonate every so well in there, do my batch priming before in the bottle ending. That's what I do. I batch prime, I don't bother with the sugar drops and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, well done. Um, I, so, like I say, if anything more you'd like to see on this Grange Glass video, when I upload them again, do let me know in the comment comments below. And as always, give us a thumbs up, guys. And appreciate all the new subs that's been coming over these last few weeks. We've got about 50 in these last few weeks, which is, you know, spot on. So I hope you enjoy watching my videos. One thing we'll say as well, I do apologise about the sound quality because I've you know, bring the video together, I've, I noticed there's a quality. I think it's a, the mechanical order and the induction hob at the same time. 
pretty fairly full then, but hopefully we'll um we'll sort that out somehow. So yeah, apologise about that, I'll turn it down again. Um so that's it guys. Greatest glass video is done. Oh god, blue clone, five point three percent. Spawn. Cheers guys.